Hey, queens, how are you guys doing? It's Sanal, and today we're making jewelry. I'm gonna show you today how to make these gorgeous, beautiful, amazing earrings. Yes, I've been promising and promising. Um, I've shown you guys <laughs> the blue jean jacket, and we did that. A lot of fun. And so now we're just gonna do some continuing this blue jean theme and we are going to create earrings it's going to be so much fun and so i've created all of these lovely earrings um that you see here and so i'm going to show you we're going to be making two pair these pair um right here the gorgeousness right there and we're going to be making these lovely ones that i am wearing right here so that's what we're going to do today stay tuned for that I want to give a couple of shout outs first. Thank you so much. Um, I got the inspiration to do this from Rose Alex Payton. And she has a page on Facebook. I'll leave the link below. It is Out the Box uh, Fashions. She's simply amazing. She does so much beautiful and amazing things with blue jeans it's unreal i'm just tipping the iceberg here um with the earrings she actually wore a pair of these earrings in some of her photo shoots and i was like yes i have got to figure out how to make them i want to shout out um miss melinda um <laughs> want to shout out uh, melinda patrice wilson want to shout her out because it was in her group that rose actually posted the photos and so had it not been for her group um melinda's group thrifty and classy i would have never met miss rose i would have never seen the photo so shout out to you uh, melinda love you so much and thirdly i want to shout out moody yes i want to shout out miss moody here on youtube uh, moody for jewelry I want to shout her out because I had no idea how to create these. And so I watched Miss Moody over on her channel um, to learn how to create earrings, the basis for the earrings. And so what Miss Moody did, um, she did the basic um, earring like this one. Okay. And then I just kind of, you know, with anything, it's like cooking or anything else and dressing you know how we dress you got to use your own creative flair so i just took um my own creative flair. i think it's a pair of a piece okay a little hair on there you know girl i <laughs> get that off all right so i just took my own creative flair and then just created my own take on this blue jean style earring and so i've been seeing these everywhere and so the same thing you you know i'm gonna link her video below um i'll also link her in instagram because moody makes some amazing jewelry if you really want to learn how to make jewelry i'm gonna suggest you going over to her channel because honey miss moody got it going on yes she does girl we doing you know we just <laughs> we just begin it over here but the sky is the limit who knows what we will be doing next and so if you decide to make a pair of these earrings honey please tag me on facebook on instagram tag me at sanov hey it's your girl sanov yes tag me at sanov and let me know that you created these um beautiful gorgeous earrings because i want to see your creations okay okay now and if you want to purchase a pair of earrings from me then you can visit my white website um sanov.com www.sanov.com or you can visit me on facebook or instagram and just send me a message and let me know um that you are interested in a pair of these earrings yes i do ship yes ma'am i can get you out a pair right to you honey baby queen yes i can all right <laughs> well let's just hop on into the video make sure you do what we do like subscribe you know do all that fun stuff and we're just gonna hop on right on into the video can't show you i'm just gonna show you with one pair to kind of see if we can show you what an earring looks like this one has a little spot on it i don't know if you can see it so i am gonna cut that off i'm just gonna line it up and then try to just cut this off then i want this spot so i'll cut it above it 
Use my scissors to cut. Okay. And then, uh, then I'm just gonna even, even everything, even everything up. So, and I just eyeball it. You know, I don't measure anything. So, you just measure it down to your shoulder or how far you think. Or measure it against another pair of earrings that you really like. And do it from there. Okay. And then I'm just going to cut this in half because I won't need... Cut this in half because I won't need this whole piece to make. And this will be two pair of earrings. It really doesn't take so, a lot of fabric to do earrings. So now I'm just going to decide where I want the top of my earring to be. And when I say top, what I mean by that is that this is the top, right? So this is where I want the top to be. So about that much. Right, so it's about from, you know, there to the top of my finger. There to the top of my finger. So about that much. You know, you can do measurements. It's up to you. Um, yeah, but about that much, give or take. Right, so yeah, give or take. So just kind of, I, I just kind of eyeball it. So I'm going to, this is about how, how long I think I want this to be. Okay, it's a big bigger than a patch, right? So yeah, so it's about just kind of eyeball it. You kind of figure out what what works best for you. And then I want to make the slits up so I can leave about this much, maybe an inch or two, from the top. So I'm gonna cut my slits all the way up to there. So that's what I'm doing. Just cutting these slits up. I'm just gonna, I, and you may want to go. So this is my first slit. You might want to go a little um, conservative on your first ones because you can always make um, your slits higher, but you can't get more fabric back, right? You heard that a thousand times. So just um, just be a little conservative on these and if you make them too big you can, can always go back and make them smaller so i just <clears throat> kind of eyeball it this first time so you want them an inch apart right or half an inch just kind of play with it and then try to get them as straight as you can but they don't even ha they don't even have to be straight because you're going to twist them around you'll see in a minute For me, it's just easier if I hold things together. My little technique. If I just kind of hold it together where I'm cutting, it kind of helps me. Now, to make the fringe, you can always tear it. But this particular um, old pair of blue jeans that I'm using, they don't, they're not tearing well. But I'm not sure if it's because I cut against the grain. I didn't cut them right. So, yeah. So we're not going to worry about it. Not going to worry about it. I think that I need to go up a little bit. I think I made my slits too short. So I'm just going to cut some more. Okay, so, and that's what you have. You just have this fringy piece, okay? Okay, so that's what you have. You have this fringy piece. And 
you're just going to wrap it around okay so you can get that move some of this stuff out of the way because I'm getting a little stuff's all in my way now here and this so just cut this strip here and it gives us this little all right so now we'll just do it um, next thing to do is just to fold all right so you see what I'm doing all I'm doing is just folding I'm not doing anything else I'm just wrapping this around wrapping this around wrapping this around twisting it twisting it twisting it twisting it like a you know like a cigarette you know if y'all ever played would play cigarettes when y'all were little you used to play like you were gonna make a cigarette when you were little or um, maybe you made crafts when you were little and you were a kid I mean little streamers and stuff this is all this is it's just making streamers and then we're making a little loop like that and then this is my wire this one is 18 gauge by 50 so it's aluminum wire and I'm not sure where I got this from I feel like I got this from a um I really feel like I got this from like a um store for farming I really do but if I didn't I got it at Hobby Lobby on sale but this is 18 gauge wire it's fairly thick and, I don't um just twist it around bring it around bring it around and so I didn't quite sh I kind of overshot or didn't shoot enough because I need more wire but yeah I had it right the first time and it doesn't matter this first time how what it looks like because you're gonna you're gonna go back over this now see now and then you stick it in the inside all right to make your loop all right so that loops gonna be too big so I need to go around again and then you're gonna stick it right down in the middle of there okay right down in the middle of your loop and my loop may actually be too big so I might actually actually wrap it around again and that's what I love about this stuff you just keep wrapping okay until you get exactly what it is that you need so there's no wrong way to do it so I got my loop okay and I think to me the loop itself is pretty on them so it's part of the decoration and now I'm just gonna rewire and just take my uh, wire back up across okay and I'm just gonna take my wire back up across it and there okay and so then you can just do the design if you want to however you want to now I'm just kind of designing and yeah but I don't want to use too much of my wire because I got more earrings to make so now I'm just going to get my wire cutters. Found my wire cutters. Need some of these. And just um, cut these. It makes your life so much easier. And then now I'm just going to bend. Okay. I'm just going to take my wire and just make sure it's in there because you don't want to hurt anybody. So usually what I do is bring it up to the top. Close as I can to the top. Because... Um, usually for me, when I make these, I don't leave them plain. I always, but I am going to kind of bend that in. But when I, I don't make them plain, I always add some type of embellishment on mine. So, um, because I always add some type of embellishment, mine will cover. Okay. So I always add something on top of mine. I don't have to but I do so um, like these so it'll be that wire that's you know would normally be sticking out is gonna be inside of there anyway but yeah see I bent it in there and the next thing is just to embellish it however I want to embellish it 
then embellish it and put the hook on and that's really how you do it but I'm gonna go ahead and make another pair another um, the other pair that goes here just so you can see how I did it So that's really how you do it. And then um, we will, I always like to have some type of embellishment on the top, but now you can make it plain. Okay, so when I created these for you, with you guys, apparently the camera decided that it didn't want to play right and it just didn't record it. I don't know, it shut off, it did something, I don't know. And I don't know how long I talked, so. <laughs> but it happens, you've probably seen this on other people, you know, talk about this. It's the life of a creator, what can I say? So I just want to show you basically what I did. So all we're going to do, Thrift Queens, Beautiful Gems, <laughs> is just um, take my hooks that I got from Hobby Lobby, 40% off. I'm just going to take two of these out. These are the eye hooks. Uh, I think they're called eye hooks. But anyway, they're earring hooks, I'm sorry. And you just, I just need two. And I'm just going to take two out. For some reason, these two are hooked together. We don't know why. Probably because I'm on camera. You know, it's just like children. Nothing wants to act right when you're on camera. And nothing wants to act right. And then I'm just going to attach my earrings here. So I need that. And I need two jump rings. Yeah, actually. So I just need two of these. And now, um, using my trusty tools, you know, I'm trying to learn how to use tools to save my hands. Um, this, this tool has the hook, which I don't need the hook. And then this one kind of helps you kind of grip stuff. This is the cutter. Okay, this is the cutter. Okay, the green one. And then this helps you hold stuff too okay but i don't need the one with the hook right now so i'm gonna put it down all right so here we are getting my hooks yeah so this is just a product description for this project you will need all right in case i didn't tell you before you will need two hooks two two jump rings i'm sorry some people uh think miss um moody over there she uses um chain so this is um two hooks and then the two eyes um earring hooks i keep saying eyes but anyway you need wire okay and you'll need um some tools all right now you could just do these with your hands but i prefer the tools and you definitely need some uh wire cutters right and you can get away with just one of these um, but it's totally up to you to get this in Walmart, get the set just like I got. The jewelry making set comes in a black case. This is Cousin, is the brand. I don't know if you can see that. C-O-U-S-I-N is the brand. And yeah, I just use this. comes just like this in the carrying case. And I just use this for everything. Uh, on with the show. All we're going to do is just take our jump ring. Okay. And then we're going to open it up. Okay. I just open it up a bit. Okay. So we're just going to take it. And open the jump ring. And then I'm just going to reach around and hold it. So you, I want to hold it with the hand that I don't write with okay so that's what i do 
y'all can see that hook it wants to slide down nobody wants to act right when you're on camera i tell you kids animals nobody i don't know if y'all can see that little bitty jump ring but it's on there y'all see it so it's on there okay so i just want to hold it and then i want to hook my um you know the actual earring on one hand on on, on one side okay and then on the other side i want to hook the earring hook okay so there if you can see there's a split in the middle and this is on the left and that's on the right however it's coming up for you my left your right my right your left whatever you know what i'm saying so and i want to have pictures of this so don't fear um I have pictures of this on my blog okay then you just want to take this other hand and you want to close it up okay if it'll act right okay you just want to close you just want to close take that and just close it up and make sure it's tight and you're done and then you got your earring okay and you're done nothing to it see it beautiful all right there you go so that's that one and then we'll just do the other one and then we'll be done <laughs> blue jean earrings okay there you go that is it that is it absolutely gorgeous and for nothing 10 cent you know for nothing at all then um especially you got your blue jeans at home i already had the wire and all i really bought was i had to have some uh i had to have some hooks and so that is it. That's how you make the blue jean earrings. Yay! And like I said, you can leave these plain. You can embellish them. Back of this, for the back of this earring, all I did was this is was actually a pretty pair of earrings, but I wanted to use it to embellish um, the blue jeans. So it had a back, just you know, earrings like this. Okay and it had a back you know want a straight a straight back i don't know if y'all can see that like um just pointy straight back okay so a pointy straight back just like that and all i did was just take it and put it through the loop that we created okay so that's the loop we created together and then i just bent it down okay so I just bent it down like that. That's all I did. And then that is how you get, see, that's how you get that on top of there. That's all I did, okay? That is all I did. And that's how you get that on there. Now, to secure it down a little bit, what I did was to secure this down a little bit, all I did was just to take some of my wire okay which is this is the wire that i use this is an 18 h uh, 18 inch gauge or 18 gauge so that's the wire that i use you can get this from hobby lobby you can get it on a spool it doesn't always look like this um you can get it from michael's joann's 
Um, I would use a little uh, lower gauge, probably a 14 or so on mine. But this is all I had at the time. And so all I did was just took that and just wrap this around. Okay, you can kind of see it. See the extra pieces there? See them? There you go. They're sitting on top right there. Okay. All I did was just take some extra wire and I just carefully wrapped it around. Got it how I wanted to sit because it's already secure so I'm not going to worry about it falling off but what it was doing it just kept moving I wanted to be 3D and move a little bit and have a little bit of movement but I didn't want the whole earring swinging see how this one is just swinging swinging on there it's just swinging and you want even though it's in there and it's secure it's doing a little too much movement okay so you could just take wire and go through any loops and just wire it down so that's what I did for this one I'm just going to slide that off that other earring I was using, for example. And then all I did was just take it and then just right twist around, okay, and secure it. And then take my little tools, my handy tools, and I just bend it in because I don't want to, I want to make sure that um, it doesn't, you know, cut anybody. So I'm just going to, you know, I always bend it in, okay. Bit it into the fabric. Still got this secure. It's sitting on top. And then I just take my wire cutters here and I just cut it and cut the wire off. Okay. So that, um, and that's just to demonstrate what it is. And then there you have it. And I'm done. I'm just demonstrating this because for whatever reason, like I said, it did not. Uh, tape correctly the first time and then there you go there you've got your earring so it's very I uh, trust me when I tell you this is simple to do cutting the ear I think cutting the blue jeans is probably the hardest part the fun part is just embellishing it and if you don't mind it swinging around that's fine um, but I just wanted to secure it just a little bit more so that's why I added um, just the extra piece of wire on top right after you know it's not the it's after you've created the um, actual earring okay so and then I just use this so hang on just a minute all right so see this is already attached already done so just on a regular um, once my earrings are already made that's when I add the embellishments okay so my hooks already on that's already done and then all I do is just go back in like this is an earring see that I'm just taking that earring back okay and then I'm just I could in that case I hooked it to the top but you don't have to you could hook it anywhere on the earring and I'm just sliding it through one of those loops as you can see and then I'm just buttoning it down and really um, I could um, I could take this and I think it's on the wrong side but I could take this and then I could do some E6000 okay see that I could do E6000 just to glue it down and secure it and then that way it's secure so and then it's very it's really very pretty so that's what I did that's all I did and so sorry about that that the recording did not come out but y'all are okay y'all kind of get the gist of what I did I'm just taking this down on through as you can see I'm just taking that that back of the earring down on through there so it is more secure and then I can on this one and the same way on that one as well I could take in you, you can either put this hoop up here it's just depending on where you want to put it you can put it up here okay through the loop of the earring and then and then take the back and push it down you can take it through the loop we made together when we were making the earrings which is this loop okay you can take it there and then push it down um, so you have so many options on these like I said 
I put, when I did these, they're a bit heavier. So I use this loop right here. I use this loop right here, which is the same one attached. The only thing you, when you're doing this, you just want to make sure that the back of the earring is facing one way. Okay. The back of the earring is facing one way with that um, loop being down so it can go in your ear and then your embellishment is going to go on the top. Okay. So you don't want your embellishment and your loop in the same way. So it's easier if you just use earrings because earrings have um, this little piece. They already have this little piece sticking up so you already got some metal or something to use which is good. So I'm just going to do the same thing that I did for the other one. Stick it down through there. Push it down. And you can either use um, a rubber band or whatever you want to use to once you glue it down and so you just glue it you just take it these are really pretty so i'm, I'm actually going to go ahead and glue this down with you guys right now um now i did not use glue on these because i wanted that 3d movement so when they're on there they just kind of have some movement to them and it's just really pretty um but you know I could glue it down and I thought about gluing it down because sometimes I've noticed when I'm taking pictures this does kind of come um, sometimes it'll lay over to the side or somewhere like that and I don't want it to do that so I think I will go back um, and I might just do that with you guys now I might go back and I've been thinking about it and putting some glue on it the one, one reason I haven't glued anything down though is because because I have been thinking that maybe I might be able to do my earrings in such a way where if I wanted to I could take this off and wear the earrings by themselves plain but I do like it now since I've had it like this for a while so I am going to leave it and if my glue will participate and come on out I was liking the movement in 3d effect but I took like I said I took some pictures and it just didn't stay still enough so here we are so all i'm doing is just putting glue back there sorry if it went out of frame but i'm just putting glue back there and then pressing down and then i'm just making sure it is exactly where i want it to be pressing down a bit to hold and then i'm just gonna sit these down same thing here I'm just going to take this, lift it up a little bit, just a little so I can get some glue in there. And just put some glue there, as you can see. And then I'm just going to press it down for about three seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do a dance. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now I know my ABCs. Okay, that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now I know my ABCs. Okay, that was one, two, three. <laughs> All right, so there you go. So there's that one. Then we're just going to do the same thing. Lift it up a little bit because you know that we still got a hook back there. So be careful So because we, we don't want to break it. Um, if we break it, it's okay. It's just an extra little security back there. But And then we're just going to add our glue. Make sure you're doing this in a very ventilated area. It is a E6000, so you want to be one to open or something. Ventilated area. And just make sure. Um, put your glue back there. And then make sure your blue jean pieces aren't getting stuck in there like mine just did. And then just um, press and hold. Okay. Press and hold, press and hold, press. I'm going to elevate my glue a little bit so it doesn't come out. Oh, there it is. There's the top. All right. That'll keep me from counting, right? Singing in the rain. Have y'all been getting rain? We've been getting rain. All right. So there you go. And then release it. Now, I can do a couple of things now. I can do, um, like I said, wrap string around it or which is my favorite thing, I can put some 
what are they called? Rubber bands. I can put some rubber bands on it. So, and that's probably what I will do. I'll grab some rubber bands and then I will come right back. Okay, so back. How many rubber bands do we need? We need four. One, two, three, four. Okay, make sure you're in a ventilated area. E6000. I used the smaller jewelry one with the jewelry end. I don't know how that's working out for me because it still gets this clump on the top. But it's okay. Make sure you're it's ventilated where you are. Well, now, when I first created these, I'm glad I'm redoing them because when I first created these, I did not glue them down. And like I said, I've taken quite a few pictures. And I had a lot of movement so I'm just gonna stick these down y'all see that with the rubber band and you need to go around to get enough tightness at least three or four times so see it's starting to stick now so that's good so I'm just gonna go around these three or four times and you know they'll it's already starting to dry so but I would um, say that you need to at least do, um, you know, about 24 hours. So the next morning is just fine. So if you do these at night and you want to wear them tomorrow, you got a big event or something you want to do, you'll be just fine. So just make sure you get your um, earring back out of there, the back of it, this, because you don't want to damage it. You don't want to get glue on it. You don't want any of that in your ear or around the glue in any way. So you just want to protect that. So I think about four times is enough. And you don't want to over glue anything because you don't need glue, you know, seeping everywhere, getting on your earrings, getting on your stuff, messing your stuff up. Okay, so there she goes. There she goes. Look like a, a little lady all bundled up for... Um, the winner. That's what she looks like. So, all right. So it's just gonna stick down there like that. So there they are. And then we'll just do the same thing here to these two. And they're already, like I said, already starting to dry. So that is good as well. So that's a good thing. So I'm glad I did these again with you guys because, like I said, I wouldn't have thought to go ahead um, or at least the thought came to me while we were working together and I was trying to show you what I did that I you know I probably need to go ahead and secure these and glue them down so now it's up to you if you want the 3d effect I just know I like to take a lot of pictures Instagram and stuff and um, if you're going to an, uh, an event and you look you don't want to look cute you don't want your earring all the way to the side hanging your jewel that you put on there and spent so much time hanging all the way to the side so all i've used is just earrings that i already had to create this so i didn't go out and buy anything i already had the blue jeans in fact i already had the wire and everything so it didn't cost me anything so if you already got some of these things um you know you're good to go and i could have actually taken some of the backs off of old earrings but um i did need I didn't have the right jump ring, so I did need to go and get some more um, jump rings. So we're going to sit here and let these wait, let them dry for 24 hours, and then we'll come back and we'll check on them tomorrow. Now, all right, so I'll see you tomorrow. It's the next morning. I got on different clothes. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I got on different clothes. So it's the next morning. Next day. Actually, it's the next evening. Let me just say that. Go on, tell the truth, honey, and shame the devil. We're going to take these apart, and uh, we're going to see what they look like. Let me get them all together. Okay, so the sets are together. Girl, I don't know how I laid them down, child. All right, so we're just going to take these off. Take the rubber bands off after we did the E6000. I can feel them. They're very secure. So I can feel them before I even take that off, the rubber band off, and they're very secure. So, yes. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. And it's no movement. Woohoo! Look how pretty that is. Yes! <laughs> that is gorgeous. Okay, so there's that. There's that one. One rubber band down. And just to think, this is all from blue jeans. 
Let's get this one off. So y'all yeah, know, ain't no tomfoolery going on over here. We made these together. Yes, we did. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Those two are just gorgeous. Yes. All right, and then we're going to undo that. Look at that. See? No movement. No movement. So my jewels are going to stay jewels. They're going to be gorgeous. And they're not going to move. All right. So we'll take these two off. Okay? These two off. Look how beautiful that is. Yes, darling. That rubber band off of there. Come on. Stop fighting me. Look at that. No movement. It's on there. Stuck like... Y'all know E6000, honey. I believe you can build a house with E6000. You can build anything. All right. And then the very last one. Ooh. Gorgeous. Take that off. That rubber band just comes right off. And like I said, you don't use a lot of glue. So that way... um. You know, the rubber band's not going to stick. It just gets kind of hooked into the hook. I mean, the uh, yeah, the earring little loop. But you could put these on before. You could really wait. I could have waited and put that little hook for the earring on last. And that way, it, I wouldn't have all these problems. So that's up to you. You know, if y'all do something different or you find something an easier way, the more I do these, the more I find an easier way. I just started. Like I said, we bougie over here, so we just doing a bougie um, earring channel over here. I don't know what I'm doing, child. Y'all don't know what I'm doing. But um, I think I did good. I think I did really, really good. So, all right. We're going to try these on and come back. And we're going to see how they look on our ears. All right. Hang on. this video um, of how to make these gorgeous earrings honey I hope you did um, I had so much fun creating them I had so much fun making them right. thanks um, again shout out again to Melinda to um, Rose and to uh, Moody for Jewelry and so I'm going to leave all their links and their information below be sure to subscribe comment and like the video share it with a friend you know someone who's just got great style and loves earrings who needs a pair of earrings like this at their house on their ears honey 
hit me up hit your girl up because you know i'm i'm happy <laughs> to share a pair of earrings with you so i'm happy um so you know if you'd like to purchase one let me know because i'm happy um to either you know purchase one of these or some more that i am creating so let me know the sky's the limit we're going to be doing big things on this channel we've been doing going to be doing new things more fun things where everybody can participate and if you recreate this design if you recreate these earrings please let me know tag me on facebook tag me on instagram and let me know that you recreated the design and i want to see what you came up with how do you you know i want to see how you recreate the look and i want to see your creative juices flowing and just build a community and just you know, have fun yeah we just want to have fun now if you haven't seen the jacket video go check it out i did um this video on um the collab with joan brody of blinging out this beautiful brooch denim um back um ooh, this beautiful <laughs> denim jacket get it out girl and so yes fabulousness gorgeousness so we're just gonna continue on so make sure if you haven't that you go check out that video and if you recreate that look as well honey let me know we're just doing big things over here is she gonna stay up here she better get up here she don't know what she's talking about she better get up here <laughs> all right we're just doing big things and so all it takes is just a pair of earrings who would have known all it takes is just a pair of blue jeans who would have known that you could just take a pair of blue jeans and create this honey and look gorgeous and fabulous yes blue jeans thrift them blue jeans at your house blue jeans that your kids don't wear anymore blue jeans blue jeans blue jeans blue jeans and you know what not only can you do it with blue jeans shh, you can do it with any fabric that you have lying around or old shirt or skirt or dress or jacket or coat that you no longer wear that's it that's the secret so we're just going to be doing stuff. We're just going to be creating, 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 and having fun. So, want to join me on this journey? I appreciate it. We're going to be doing beauty, fashion, hair, um, and we're going to do some inspirational stuff. You know, throw that, sprinkle that in every now and then. Of course, uh, hauls, food, and that kind of stuff. So, join me, join me, join me on this journey. I would love to have you, 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 you on this journey <laughs> with me so i'm gonna see you guys in the next video and i'll probably see you on instagram um and on facebook as well be sure to join my group thrift queens and we're always having fun in the group laughing having fun um hit your girl up <laughs> and if you see me in the street with these earrings on it is me honey yes it's me so go ahead and hit your girl and say oh don't hit me no <laughs> but go ahead and say give me a big hug and say hello i would love uh to talk with you and meet you um yeah yeah would that be fun so who knows we may be doing some design things and might get together have some girl sip nights and girl nights just never know so get your scissors ready only need a few tools and get your um blue jeans old blue jeans ready whether you thrifted them or took a put girl pulled them out your closet or your husband's closet or your kids closet i don't care you can get them from your grandmama if you need to <laughs> just get you some blue jeans and you know what do what we do bling glam and diy all right guys i'll see y'all in the next video until the next time in between time yes honey you are a queen yes you are and so remember to always baby wear your crown all right i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye guys crown on <laughs> ah yes honey yes crown on <laughs>